like summer camp for adults or something? What? Put in the comments below if you've heard of summer camp for adults. I feel like this is like a, a new resort, trend maybe? A wellness compound? I don't know what you white hippies call it. It's summer camp for adults. A treatment center upstate somewhere? You okay? Yeah, have my tea. Your love, your stanza, good love, good Okay, we're good. Ooh. Crackhead is outside yelling. Thank you so much for tuning in to this latest episode of not zero, not one, but two, count them, two freckled friends. This week's episode is brought to you by the Weather Channel because the world is ending. <laughs> I'm melting. I'm melting, melting. Regardless of your temperature, make sure you click subscribe, that big juicy red button at the bottom to the channel and ring that bell icon so you can stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new content right here on TFF. This episode, oh. <laughs> Brooke, tell the beautiful people out there in the land of the Matrix what we are watching. Today, we are watching Disney's Heavyweights. It is live action and it's featuring Ben Stiller and Kenan Thompson. Who else is in this? Half of the first yeah. Mighty Ducks cast is up in it. Joy. Hey, hey, get your mouth off the window. Comment below if you want us to watch Mighty Ducks. I'm looking forward to that. If you're new to us, what we do is we're going to watch the film, certain segments throughout, then Brooke and I will give our thoughts about the film and we'll hit this puppy with its official freckle score. Lucky for us, lunch today is not canceled due to lack of hustle. Here we go. The Walt Disney non-animated live action classic, Heavyweights. Let's roll it. In the party. <laughs> We're pressing play! Yay! No remote issues this time. Yay! But you have the castle. I hear it. I don't have the castle yet. What do you mean it's you don't just have loading. The castle? It's Shit. a little blue. Wait, 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 Loading where? Okay, there's the old school castle. Okay, we good. You paused okay, it. Why is my nose running? You got boogers? No, it's just running for some reason. My nose is gonna do whatever my nose wants to do. Shoes off my couch, what? That nasty little nose and get out my house. Man, this made you want to go to summer camp. I never Man. went to summer camp. Me neither. Wasn't wealthy enough. Y'all remember that show on Disney Channel, Bug Juice? Oh, She's obsessed with that damn with show. Juice. I hated it when it came on. These are the true life adventures of kids at summer camp. Bug Juice, it doesn't come in a jar. Bug Juice comes from who you are. Kids disrespectful. Oh, look at the 90s. Look at the tie dye. Okay, y'all doing a lot. Back in our day, we called it tonsil hockey. So 90s, look at the plaid. I Everybody wants to be. What happened to this kid? What does he do now? Like all 90s actors, oblivion. <laughs> that man could get out his chair and help no, that young boy. No, this is entertaining. Boy. Judd Apatow wrote this. <laughs> Hello? Why are both of the parents home? What do y'all do for a living? Why is everybody home? My parents were never home when I got so off from I? school. That's how you know you got money. Look at that den. Yes. The brick fireplace, the wood panel siding. Oh, he was the guy who was in Oh Brother Where Art Thou? The place where he was born in the category of actors with yeah. fucked up teeth that end up having good careers like the Steve Boucher. Like it worked out for us. We've been the owners and operators of Camp Hope for 32 wonderful summers. Won't you join us for 33? Why do you remember that? What's wrong with you? The blob. The blob. How many times can you go in the go -karts? As much as you want, Jerry. Do people still like go-karts today? Go karts I think so. My brother had one. It's a fat camp. Are you crazy? No way! The 
bunch of fat loads. You're fatter than I am. Why don't you go to the camp? <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. real though. I love how he's saying he's calling him with a decision when the decision has already been made. So you're paying for the fee of the summer camp and plane tickets to get there. When your parents are loaded, kids, anything is just about possible. You have your own McDonald's? No way! They don't do this anymore, do they, on flights for kids, do they? Do they give them their little wings? Girl, I don't know. Hit at the back camp. Oh. I'm Roy. Why they made this black boy Roy? I mean, you're the backup. Everybody's the backup. How come he doesn't have any wings? Because he's black. Let's load her up. Hugsley. Is who? Adam's family. On the far right. That's yes, not it Hugsley. is. Come on. Twenty-four thousand nine hundred ninety-six. <laughs> she was over by four dollars. Are you ready for the best damn summer of your life? Yeah. You said black hoodie. hoodie and like a gray long sleeve shirt. Look at the old Look taco. Look at this. Bill. They had Bojangles. This has to be the South. Burger King. Checkers. This has okay, to but be it's the, the South. You don't see a Bojangles above the Mason Dixon line. Nope. Nope. Get off my bus! Yeah. Point out Pugsley. Who's Pugsley? Oh! Third, third getting off. Right there, right there. No, that's not Pugsley. Heads up! That is Pugsley. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No, not this time. It's totally made up. The envy of the entire. I'm Julie, the new nurse. Pat, I panicked. Aww. I hope you're ready. You're gonna be hanging with some pretty cool cats. Terrible what's happened to Goldberg in real life. If you look up like his current pictures now, it is beyond heartbreaking. Aye aye, Captain Sir. All present accounted for, Captain Sir. Welcome to the Chipmunk Bunk, Captain. The best bug in the entire camp. I snuck in some Oreos. Chipmunk! Download now! Right, so my thing is, is like, if you're gonna sneak in stuff, come on over here. Get these salamis off my back. It's gotta be wrapped. No open packages, nothing exposed. Oh, look at it. <laughs> this is definitely not sanitary. Oh, everyone, grab a taste thing! Brooke, you can't tell me the blob doesn't look fun. I didn't say it didn't look fun. Time of their lives. I want to go to summer camp. No, I have to work all day. Don't they have like summer camp for adults or something? What? Put in the comments below if you've heard of summer camp for adults. I feel like this is like a, a new resort, trend maybe? A wellness compound? I don't know what you white hippies call it. It's summer camp for adults. A treatment center upstate somewhere? We are at this thing called Camp No Counselors, which is essentially summer camp for grown-ups. There is no counselors, no rules, just everyone coming, hanging out, having a great time, doing dodgeball, arts and crafts, color war. Greetings, campers. Hi! 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 Oh, yo, okay. We are no longer the owners of Camp Hope. What? Y'all couldn't say this before we got there? You couldn't have written a letter or something? Damn. Never let anyone sign your checks! Tony Perkins is a man who believes in you. His life is dedicated to saying Yo, that way. Can you smell it? There's a life force in here tonight. Do you feel it? Hmm? <laughs> Potential. I see a famous rap artist. Ha! I'd have loved to have been in this movie. That would have been so much fun. And we are gonna do it together! Oh my god. If you had eight kids per row, 10 rows, two sections, and let's say each child was $2,000 a summer. That's a lot of money sitting there. Roughly, that that's what, 160 kids times 2,000? That's a lot of money that sitting there. I could pay for my student loans. I am your new friend and counselor. I was always attracted to him. He was <laughs> cute. He was a kid. Let's play the fun game that helps us learn each other's name. Each other's name. Each other's name. I have a severely deviated septum. When I sleep at night, I make a very disturbing sound. Don't be alarmed. I am fine. Damn, none of y'all can sleep. Today is evaluation day. The key word here is value. You have any? Not yet. I just believe in you. And I believe in you. Call in order now. Let's go get our hands dirty. Fly. Fly. It makes you wonder, what did Ben Stiller do to prepare for this? Good times, come on! Woo! And we got a lot to celebrate today! 
I'm on. feeling skinny, Tony. Right, so the counselors have a straight line and they put the kids on an incline. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, that's rude. That's rude. That's rude. 141 pounds, Jerry Garner. Weight loss goal, 17 pounds. Mm. Why do they look like Oompa Loompas? For you. Yes, Rainstorm. Oh, what? Congratulations, Mr. Sims. You are the fattest boy in camp. Yeah, I'd sue somebody if they said that to my child. You're not about to go and dishearten my child like that. Aww. This is like when I was preparing for pageants. Bikini wax. Oh. You broke up my camera! You are broken my camera! If I don't get a 50,000 unit presale on this video, my ass is wheatgrass. So clearly Ben Stiller is just a privileged white child spending daddy's money trying to prove to his parents that he can make it on his own by having early access to his trust fund. Hey! Don't pee in the water! Don't drink the water, he peed in it! That's Julie! Perhaps later you could Give me a deep tissue massage. I'll pencil you in. Buddy! 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 <laughs> How's he gonna get a woman with that broken sternum snoring like that? Ben Stiller, great actor, short as hell. It don't matter. No, I mean, he qualifies for you. That's a walk. That's a walk. That's a walk. Take your base. My base? I don't enjoy this part of the job. Why would you know to do lies. that though? Come on, give me a hug. Black people, we don't just hug anybody. And he's the only black person too. Not a Pez dispenser. Did you like Pez as a kid? I only had them like on holidays. I didn't like it. I think I liked it more because it looked like a toy. Oh, oh snatch. A deli meat. You think one person brought in that whole load? Kenny belongs to Seymour Butts. Nobody's seen more butts than you, Uncle Tony. <laughs> Joshua Birnbaum is no longer with us. <laughs> How you gonna do that? Sorry to hear about your little friend, Josh. It's always a cafeteria person who's in the tea. <laughs> a bunch of pint-sized food critics. Ha, too bad their little taste buds aren't even developed yet. He's, uh, well, he's dead. Fun away! I'll just suck the fun out of everything! I do not suck the fun out of everything! Fun sucker! Attention campers, lunch has been cancelled today due to lack of hustle. A camp that teaches young men how to be bullies? Like the military kind of, right? Pray for me, Grandma. Love, Jerry. No black girls! You Look at the clocks, though. Why don't those guys just lose weight? Why don't you show them how to throw up after meals like you do? Ooh, you better let them hoes know. Oh, oh my heavens. He better vogue. Strike the pose. Hey, you better clap on two and four. All right, dance oh, is no. over. We couldn't even get one full song. No, he didn't want them to like him. Oh. Yeah, I'd be kicking a dead go kart too. See, this is what a real father figure does. Come on, Pat, push up, baby, push up. Just because you don't have kids doesn't mean you don't know what to do with kids. What? What is that scratching? Huh? Are you playing with Barbie? No. Don't scratch I'm not in the scratching mic. in the mic. Oh yeah. Wait a second. Josh, what's wrong? Must be good to see my big ass again. Come on, T. Okay, Roy, you're up first. <laughs> Roy, Nicholas, you guys come with me. Be quiet about it. Come on, you devil log. Guys, these are our letters home. It's coming. But his knees are on the ground, though. Mm. What are you doing? He's coming! As a kid, I used to love chocolate fudge, and I would just eat it out the jar. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to just... Energy's off. He feels it. <laughs> Rapper, fool! 
food wrapper. What have you got? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so much junkies. All right. Okay. I'll tell you. Gotta keep it a secret. Okay. Oh, hey, uh, I'm not rolling yet. Yeah. And you weigh more. You're two pounds heavier. Gerald Garner. Step on up, Gerald. You've gained nine pounds. Have you been cheating? Josh Birnbaum, Already? step on up. Get on the scale, son. <laughs> Get off the scale. Get off the scale. <laughs> How you doing, little Tony? Bad. You have failed, and you will pay. Everyone who has not met their weight loss goal will join me on a 20-mile hike. Pack light, boys. Mm, negative. Over. It's funny, nobody really cares what you have to say. You're a negativity spreader. I'm having a barbecue over at Camp MVP tonight. Carolina ribs. The pork, not the beef. Good. Ooh. Always pork. If you don't stop brushing that Barbie in that mic, I am I'm not brushing you, it the is Barbie. Loose. You can also turn the sound down. You can turn the sound down. <gasps> I'm so tired, child. I would, I'm so tired. I'm really tired. I will drag you in this bitch. Yeah, forget it. When are we going to start sticking up for ourselves? And together. It's only one Tony. There's 50, 11 of y'all. He is one. We are many. Finally. This is the day when we separate the men from the boys. Use this sliding motion. It's nice and meant get you side. Uh... Did you talk to the people of child welfare? They can't come for two weeks. We don't have any hard evidence. What do you mean? Tony's the hard evidence. And moron owes me 600 bucks. I kill that guy. Feel the chi. Repulse the monkey. <laughs> I say we push him. I say you push him too. You won't return to camp until you're in the leanest, meanest, bestest shape of your short lives. We want to have fun. Let's have some fun. How's this for fun? We gotta do something about this. I was just saying we need a little rest. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like he's actually bonding with them. It's amazing what a little food deprivation can do to adjust your attitude, huh? Uncle Tony's gonna do a little demo. Kiss my butt. Ah! Ah! Activity. Ah! Oh. He's so physically active where he's over there swinging on twigs. Couldn't he climb out of that? Yeah, yeah whatever. This nurse is fucking Oh yeah, useless. she's annoying. Oh good God, this is insane. Oh, it's self defense. People could go to jail for stuff that he was doing. I was gonna help you out, but now I'm gonna have to take you down. All right. Ooh. Ah. Daddy. Yeah. Key word here is value. Do you have any? No way. <laughs> Because you're a loser. A loser with a skinny wiener. The boom box. Now this would have been fun. One night only. What pizza place is delivering all the way out there? Party! Who's paying for this? Them kids got money? What money do they have on them while at camp? Their parents' money. No, Pat, don't go. You want to eat a sandwich? Stay here with or you want to eat the nurse? Come on, unlock daddy. Let him go. The only white man I've ever heard you go after. I'm with you. I love you. I'm imagining the cleanup, like the day after cleanup, though, is a pain in the ass. Can you think of the animals out there, too? All the sweets and shit? I was looking forward to, in my life, just having a food fight. I thought that every kid should have one. <laughs> They're having the sugar highs. Y'all had junk food and you chose hard pretzels? Good morning! Well, he looks freshly fucked. Now who wants to tell us the lesson we learned here? Mm -hmm. Don't put Twinkies on your pizza. No, we all have to learn some self-control. Why doesn't he own the camp? Does he have money to own right. said camp? You can't be high value and homeless, so you have to make a certain amount of money. So $10,000 a month gets the starting point off for high value. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just giving you what the world gave me. Well, what is the salary of a summer camp counselor? He could be the general manager of somebody else. Who's going to own it, though? You want to do some research on some? No. Oh, I had a Jeep Grand Cherokee like that. Oh, I love that car. Daddy, cut the rest of your hair off. Never wants the pen. Aren't you worried about your child's happiness? I'm just concerned about why he's leaving that hair around his head like that. You let the most vulnerable person guard Tony Perkins. Okay. I'd like to play another video. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us about this? Because y'all don't fucking listen to your children when they try to tell you the truth and be vulnerable. Nichols, you know good and damn well a chocolate kiss was not on the plate. <laughs> a little twinkle. So Josh, how do you like the food here? I Campo? love the food. Wait till I finish the question. <laughs> how do you 
you get up there? Ouch. Everyone having fun? I'm too motivated! <laughs> Were you breaking glass to walk in it? <laughs> now, shave the rest of your head. Oh, I'm gonna take a bath. If you kids want to stay here, stick it out. All I need to do is uh, put an adult in charge, you know? Look how that works out. Nobody gets refunds. 18 years. Take your ass home. 18? 18 years. What the hell have you been doing with these? Exactly. Things have really turned around at camp. We're finally having a great time. The 33rd annual Apache Relay. <laughs> We had like a field day in Girl Scouts. Oh, I used to kill stuff like that. But the main thing is you had fun. Okay, all right. You ready? Come on. 17? Nine. Nine is the answer? Oh, no, nine is German for no. Andy Warhol. You must now name five American vice presidents. Quill. Mm -hmm. George Washington. No. Uh, Quill. So he's naming all of these historical painting math equations, but he couldn't remember there was never a fucking chocolate kiss on Ben Stiller's fucking dinner plate. I think that's another plot hole. You Americans have no sense of history. Be careful. This guy drives dirty. Take him down, Cappy. Hey, Pat. Thanks for the best damn summer of my life. Same here, Pat. Aww. Let's give it a freckle scar. It's time for Brooke and I to give our thoughts and land heavyweights with its official freckle score. We're gonna start shortest to tallest. I knew I was gonna go first. So I've been pretty tall since I was a kid. Until she wasn't. I don't have a whole bunch to say, actually. It was enjoyable. Ben Stiller is a clown. Just seeing him back during this time, he never lost his essence. And to see him and his family doing a project together is really cute. I just, I didn't realize they were his parents at the time. And then seeing all of these 90s heavy hitters, this is 90s film wrapped up all in one trapper keeper package. I know I like to talk a lot and give my opinion, but apart from like those snippet of plot holes, I give it a three, three freckles. Heavyweights was always fun because it made you want to go to summer camp. Regardless of the type of camp it was advertised as, you wanted that camaraderie with kids you had never met before because summer camp gave you the opportunity to create a new identity. So 90s, the culture, the clothes, the attitudes, the swagger, the parents and the uptightness, it screams 90s. The jokes are still funny. The slapstick is still funny. The one-liners are still funny. It just doesn't get Old. And yes, the fat kids went to fat camp and they're still fat. But that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is every individual is someone special. If the Bushkins had not let someone random sign their checks, they probably would have passed the camp on to Pat. He was probably their surrogate son. It's still a fun movie. Had a great time. Now I need to look up summer camp for adults. So my freckle score is going to be a four out of five. Great fun. I'm sorry, watching Ben Stiller do the yoga though, now being a yogi and watching him doing the yoga is like, Who's a yogi? I'm a yogi. You didn't know that either? Yes, I do yoga most mornings. <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> I guess we are in the era where we could just bestow <laughs> titles <laughs> upon yoga ourselves. Yoga so feel free to drop in the comments what below if you, you think Brooke is a yogi. Thing. Thank you so much for tuning in into this latest episode of Two Freckle Friends. Please make sure that you like, this comment, and subscribe to the ballet. channel I and know. click that bell icon to stay up to date with the latest when notifications as to when we drop new really episodes do. right here Wait, on Two Freckle Friends. When did you become a yogi? Could you make me not sound like exactly. yogi?
Yogi the bear. See? Oh, hey, boo -boo. Oh, let me get a picnic basket. This is the soup kitchen in Seinfeld. I guess it's no soup for me. Fuck you.